<coughs> yes, hello. Humans. Hello. In fact, if you've watched all of our videos so far, I'm not sure I can really even call you humans anymore because we are such powerful beings, you're receiving our energy through the screen. So I'll think of a word and then maybe I'll call you it next time, maybe not. Advancing humans? Yes. We're so proud of you. So proud. Yeah. You're doing great job. Thank great you. Great job, humans. Could definitely, you know, there's lots of room for improvement, but you're doing good with what you're working with. Today, we're going to talk about something we got a question for. We got a question on how to clean your aura. Yes. So we have put together a few tools that we as celestial beings from the higher realms have provided for you humans down on earth to cleanse your aura naturally. They're natural tools and resources. So what I usually do is I will go out into nature and just ask the fairies and mermaids to cleanse your energy and they can do that for you. It's true. It's true. That is very good tangerine. Thank you for um, thank you for offering that. However, not everyone's from the fifth dimension. So maybe if we do a video for um, celestial beings when we're back in the higher dimensions, you can talk about that. But for today, we're going to help out the humans, okay? So, one of the tools is... Crystals! Crystals. Crystals, you can just, you know, lay down with them and just have them clean you. Yes, it's true. You do nothing, you simply just sit next to a crystal and your aura is cleansed. Next, we have sage. Sage. Sage is very powerful. So, the whole thing with the sage is sage grows from the ground. So, it comes from earth and then you dry it out and then you burn it. And as you burn it, it's alchemizing because it's turning from a solid into flame, into smoke, into ash, into nothing. It disappears into the air. So, what you do is you light the sage and you put it around yourself and you breathe in the smoke of the sage and you let it cleanse your aura. <coughs> Take it, it's releasing energy. So something else that is very powerful, just like sage, also has spiritual benefits is Palo Santo. Palo Santo is probably my favorite because I really like the smell. It really makes me feel grounded and makes me feel like, you know, like good stuff is happening in life. So, with the Palo Santo, you also light it. And then just set the intention to clear out your negative energy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you probably have a lot of negative energy because you're here on Earth, so it's important that you cleanse. So that's how you do it. This one didn't like, but it's okay. Like it's not trying to do it right now. So like, I'm not gonna force it. I'm on earth, okay? I'm on earth. What do you want from me? Aura mist. Aura mist. This is a mixture of essential oils that um, is mixed with water and it's very expensive. You could probably make it yourself for a much lower price. However, when you are investing into something expensive for no reason, you're making a commitment. So basically that act alone helps to purify your aura. So this one specifically is called purification and protection. Now it's important, important to just write words on things and then it becomes that. So this is just a natural blend of sandalwood and lavender and water. Um, but because they have decided it's for purification and protection, it works, okay? It works. Okay, so those are the tools that Earth provides as well as tools and resources you have stored within yourself. One of them being music. For me, I like to make music because it is a high vibration and it's a sound and with the high vibration and the sound, you're basically interrupting the energetic field around you. So when you make music and you make noise, you're cleansing yourself because you're just initiating vibration. So you can use an instrument. I like to use the Uskulamakan and I like to play. Like a very peaceful tune and the peace the peaceful tune I feel that. yeah it's like a peaceful tune 
it really affects not only me, but it affects like everyone around me. Like sometimes it initiates like anger when I play. And I always know, I always know. That's just the entities releasing from your body. You say, oh, I don't like your music. Oh, it sounds terrible, but I really know what you mean. It's the devil inside of you releasing from your body because I am cleansing your aura with vibration. So, you're welcome. You're welcome. Just being in nature will help cleanse you. It's true, like you can do whatever you want in nature, like you can sit in nature, you can, can roll in nature. You can visualize nature. You can visualize it. You don't even have to go to nature. You yeah. can just literally pretend you're there. Yeah, like if you're sitting in a dark room alone and maybe in prison or something like that, like we all go through things on earth, let's be real. Mm -hmm. You can just visualize nature. You can just visualize it and then it's like cleansing your aura. Absolutely. And one more tip. Sometimes it's necessary to not only cleanse your aura, but help your friends and family and even strangers cleanse their own aura as well. One way you can do this, you can burn Palo Santo and put it in some people's faces, strangers' faces, or spray essential oil in strangers' faces. And in the most extreme of cases, sometimes it's necessary to help your friends out with a little push. It was necessary. <laughs>